Local veteran who had no family was laid to rest at the cemetery of the Alleghenies this afternoon. William Smith was from Uniontown. He grew up in the Pittsburgh area. John Shumway has a look at how he was honored today for his service to our country. John. Yeah, and just in presence, he was honored today because the word went out that this man was going to be buried without family, without friends. And about 30 people came out to support him, even though they didn't know him, only because he was a veteran. With Scott Township Police leading the hearse, the body of 69-year-old William Martin Smith was carried to a full honor ceremony. Bill Smith died in a Uniontown nursing home last Friday, and little was known about him other than he was born in Greensburg and was long divorced. To my knowledge, there hasn't been anybody seen him for like three years, visit him or see him or anything. With no one claiming the body, Fabry contacted the military and discovered Smith's service during the Vietnam era and qualified for a military burial. So out went the call to the Brentwood VFW 1810 Honor Guard, and Richard Williams' drumbeat led the procession to the pavilion. This is a, a way to honor their service to the country. Our Honor Guard last year did 381 burials. But it's Veterans Day weekend, and Fabry wanted more. So he contacted KDKA, and we put out the word on TV and radio, and people responded. Well, we saw it on the new news that this gentleman was going to, Mr. Smith, was going to be buried alone without family, and he needed family. So we came to be part of his family. I have a brother that's a veteran. He's buried here, and I live so close, so I thought I should come since he didn't have any family. We should all have somebody come when you die. And he has no one. This man was precious to his country, a son who heard the call. Scott Township Police Officer James Stocker stood in for the family. My father's a Vietnam vet who's passed away, so uh, a lot of us, you know, have friends and family and veterans ourselves, so it means a lot to be here, you know, but it, it represents something different for each of us. I think myself and all of you have something in common today. We didn't know Bill, but we know what he stands for. He stands for our country and for all the veterans. When he was on active duty, we went and left him be alone. And we're not going to leave him alone now in, in his passing. Showing support for veterans is what this weekend is all about. In just about an hour and a half or so, there's going to be a movie inside the Rangos Theater behind me that is about veterans, and it is free to veterans. And, of course, the parade tomorrow. I'll tell you about all that coming up new at 6 o'clock. For now, live over on the North Shore, John Shumway, KDKA News.